It happened, guys. My worst fear came true. Fascination falsely copyrighted my video. Fascination calls himself the Bob of Bangla funny videos. He should really be calling himself the biggest hypocrite of Bangladesh. Fascination makes video after video roasting people. But when somebody roasts him, he gets butthurt and he files a false copyright claim against that person and have, has their video blocked worldwide. My video, it was kind of going viral. Dasinishin saw that and he didn't like the bad publicity that my video was bringing. Even though my video was done in fun, I wasn't making any personal attacks against him. I didn't reveal any personal information. I spent so much time and effort on that video. All of my hard work gone in an instant because of a false copyright claim. The funny thing is, Tassin even talks about false copyright claims in his videos. Video that fake copyright claim is a crime, so please don't do that. Unbelievable, he preaches one thing and does another. So I confronted Tassin Nation on Snapchat. I asked him, bro, you roast other people and it's fine, but I can't roast you. And he responded, you be a motherfucker and roast me, but don't use my copyrighted clips. YouTube's own website says, Fair use is a legal doctrine that says you can reuse copyright protected material under certain circumstances without getting permission from the copyright owner. You can still use other people's copyrighted content. You just have to make sure that you are commenting on their stuff. You aren't just showing their whole video on your channel and not even talking about their video. Tassination filed a copyright claim against my video. Actually, to be fair, his network filed a copyright claim against my video. But I'm sure he told his network to do that. Because if you look at the screenshot, it says that they manually detected my video for audiovisual content. And that means that the network had to go in there, find my video, and then uh, flag my video for copyright claim. It wasn't done automatically. What I said in the video, obviously, so, so he told his network to file a copyright claim against my video. I mean, who knows, next time he may even give me a copyright strike and three strikes and my channel will be deleted. And the funny thing is, Tassin and I, we were colleagues. We were even planning to make videos together because we just, we live like only an hour away from each other. But just because I didn't like his roasting videos, I didn't like the way he did them, he calls me a piece of shit. Tassination has filed false copyright claims against other people as well. Alright, so you guys saw this Mime Through Time Bangla version. So this video was made by my friend Tasnahar and her sisters. And Tass is here with me to tell you about how Tassination copyright claimed her video as well. My friend named Roosevelt. He wanted me and my friend Raisa to do the Mind Through Time and Bangladesh style. And then Tassin said he acted as a director in that video. What, what, did, what did he exactly do for that video? So the only thing that Tassin helped me with was picking up the songs. He made the dance video, we made the steps, we did everything except for the, the songs. Clothes, the clothes are ours. They're all ours. So yeah. we did borrow his SD card, he did come and drop off the SD card, but other than that, nothing else. I did the video, he came and he picked up the SD card, he said, okay, I'm gonna make the video. Once he finished making the video, I guess, he showed me. I was telling him, he was like, he wanted to upload it on his profile. So then I was like, no, I don't want you to upload my our video on your YouTube channel. I would like it if we can upload it on our YouTube channel. But then he was like, no, I want to put it on mine. It was my hard work, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, wait, what are you talking about? You know, that's when the argument came. And then we were just like, okay, forget about it. Don't do it. We can get our uh, raw files back. So, we took the raw files back, and then I was like, you know what, I can edit this shit myself. And then I made the video, and then I posted it on YouTube. But this guy, what he actually did, is he posted it on YouTube and made it private. He put our video on YouTube without even letting us know. After we had the argument of nothing, I even have a text message. I'll show it to you. He said that, I'm already giving you all of the videos. I don't want any credits to it is all yours. I know it ended badly, but that's okay. And then when he saw okay. my video went up, 
he on private he like made his video public and then he copyrighted our video and I'm just like wait that's you can't do that so then I copyrighted his, he copyrighted my, YouTube was like, well, he put it on first. I'm just like, yo, I send YouTube my ID, everything, but you know, it's like, I was 18 at that time, and it's okay if you tell an adult that, but if you're telling a 10-year-old, okay, a 16-year-old, yeah. who doesn't know anything, attention whore, what kind of man are you? I don't, I don't see why he took our credit. Plus and that... Plus that, and then he tells other other YouTubers that we did something to his video, and then the other YouTubers look at us wrong, wrong at us. Brownfish looks at us wrong, like we did something wrong, but we didn't. We really didn't. We just did yeah, it. Because Tassin manipulated the whole situation. Tassin told everybody that he acted as a director, and you guys were just actresses. All right. So last thing, look, look to your camera, and then if you if Tassin was watching this video, what do you want to say to him and the Bangla community? He's gonna watch the video, you know that, right? Yeah, He's yeah, I know, I know. Well, whatever he did was really wrong, and I seriously want an apology. I want him to come to my face. The only thing we're asking was for respect and being honest and having our video seriously? for what it is. It was just, it was just for fun, okay? Because I love Bangladesh, even though I wasn't born there. I. I perform, I do the dances, we still okay? It. We, we still it. respect it, we know the history, okay? We speak it. Actually act professional, you know? Because this, this, this is not professional. This is not the worst of all is what Tassin did to this girl named Jory Extra. So this girl made a funny parody of Zephyr Rahman. Zephyr Rahman even commented on her video and said that she liked it. Tassin saw this video and he featured the whole video in uh, his top 5 Bangladeshi singers video. Number 5 is Goribir Zephyr Rahman. If you guys don't know who Zephyr Rahman is, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Cholom dekhe chhe tarik tika. Proti raite shopne dekhi tomare betki marte. All Tassin said was, let's check out this video. And then he plays her entire video, almost her entire video, for a whole minute straight. And then after that he just moves on. He introduces the next top 5 Bangladeshi singer. Now this would not fall under fair use because Tassin never commented on that on her video. He just played her video for minutes straight in his own channel. So rightfully, Jory filed a copyright claim against Tassin's video. So Tassin's video was taken down. Now Tassin, you know, the guy that he is, he went to her original video on YouTube and then he filed a copyright strike against her own video. The video that she made, Tassin filed a copyright strike against that video. Tassin is not even in that video. He did this to scare her, to have her release her copyright claim from Tassin's top 5 video. Tassin Nation, he's the guy who's known to expose the truth. People think of him as Borobai. And this guy is doing all this shady stuff in the background. I mean, this girl, she was so happy to open her own YouTube channel. Hi guys, I'm a cook shock. I make the YouTube video. I'm a first video. She never made any vulgar content. So what, what was her fault, Tassin? People think of Tassin as the voice of reason in Bangla YouTube. But I've never seen someone as hypocritical as Tassin. I feel shamed that Tassin Nation is one of the biggest YouTubers in Bangladesh. But as Tassin said, my video will, will only get 600 views, you know. This video will not be enough to expose Tassin for what he really is. And that's why I need all of your help. Please, share this video on Facebook. Comment on Tassin's timeline. How could you do this to Jivon? Tassin Nation's fans who blindly love him, they need to know the kind of person Tassin is. And if you are a big Bangla YouTuber, like Salman or Bai Brothers or uh, Toi Dafridi, then I think it's your duty to protect small YouTubers like me, Taz, and Zori from being bullied by a big, faulty YouTuber like Tassi Nation. Please spread the message of this video. And if my channel is still here, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.